First off, let us uh, apologize for it taking so long to get some new material up. And uh, without further ado, this is Wayne doing uh, The Undertaker. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about here is color. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about the uh, flesh tone that we use. And to mix this color, what we usually do is we have a half a bottle of golden yellow mixed with a half a bottle of uh, brown. And then we take a separate bottle um, and we mix about a quarter bottle of that flesh tone, a uh, quarter bottle of white, maybe a little bit more than a quarter bottle of white, and fill the rest up with extender. And um, that'll give you this real pretty uh, golden flesh that we use. Okay, so for this portrait, we took that flesh tone and we mixed uh, magenta into it until we reached the desired color. Um, we didn't use red because red is much too harsh. We didn't use hot pink because hot pink is not as natural as magenta. Magenta is really a nice even color when you're trying to build a flesh. And um, right now he's going to put a lot of focus and uh, detail into the eyes because the eyes build the character. Uh, the center of the face build the character. It it tells the story. It uh, it makes your uh, subject whom it is. And I also want to note that we're going to go through this whole portrait with just this flesh tone at first, uh, just as if we were finishing it. And um, that's how you build your gradual steps, your layers. Uh, that's how you get all of your different color variations out. And it's a very, very important thing that when you're just beginning, that you thin your paints down enough that you can get those variations. Like as for Wayne, he doesn't have to do that as much because he's been painting for a hundred years now. So um, he's very good at whisking in the colors and he makes it look really easy, but it's not. It's, it's, it's actually uh, kind of complicated to do when you're trying to uh, use that one color and create different variations of it, um, it's, it's not as easy to do uh, when, especially if you're a beginner. In a few of our other videos, we were getting a lot of questions about uh, why are we using the same color on the teeth? Well, um, no teeth are absolutely white. And if you use the color that you are painting the flesh with on the teeth, you'll have something to put the actual white highlights on top of uh, in the later stages. So now you're going to see them start to move down. He's going to work into the chin area a little more, uh, trying to add a little more, uh, a little more depth into the uh, the bottom of the face, and kind of tie it all together as a whole piece instead of it looking like a bunch of pieces that are uh, uh, put together at different times. Uh, 
And again, as I said, we're going through this as we're painting the whole portrait with this one color. So now he's going to come back and pull a couple highlights and punch a few things up, uh, tighten a few things up. And then he's going to come back with another color and start all over again as if he was going through it again with just that color. And as we go on, I want to uh, point out that nothing is hard. There are no harsh, uh, definitive lines. Everything is soft and uh, light and built over the course of working through it. Now this color that we're going to get into now is uh, Aquaflow's Red Brown. Uh, Wayne is using it straight out of the bottle, um, but I myself prefer to thin it down a little bit. Uh, it helps me get variations. He's very good with using it straight out of the bottle. Um, he he doesn't really need to thin it down as much. Uh, sometimes he does, depending on the uh, look that he's going for. But uh, I would I would thin it down. I mean, me personally, I did. Okay, now, as we move on, I mean, if you can see what he's doing, uh, he's really paying a lot of attention to the eyes and capturing that, that, uh, that look. Uh, he's telling a story that's behind those eyes. Okay, now as we move on to the other side of the face, um, as you can see, he's still kind of building slowly. He's he's still not putting any harsh lines down. Everything is still soft, still dagger strokes, um, and it is just built up over time. Dagger stroke after dagger stroke um, is is better to have to go over it again than to have to try to correct something that you have already put down. It's very hard to cover up paint. It's a lot easier to put more paint down. Okay, and I want to talk about another good point. Like, for me, uh, before I got into this color, I would have probably stopped and did the background just because I need something to work off of, uh, just so I won't go too dark, so I could defeat the white of the shirt, so I won't go too dark. Um, sometimes for me, that's a problem. Uh, for Wayne, it's not a problem at all, as you can see. Uh, he can do it completely over the white uh, without having to do the background but if you're a beginner even if you you don't have to really be a beginner to use that but um especially beginners you would kind of want to go through it a little bit and then stop kind of do a little bit of the background so you won't be trying to defeat the white of the shirt and go too dark in the portrait that you're actually trying to do um 
sometimes that really, really helps. Okay, and again, here you can see he's really focusing in on, a, on a, the uh, middle of this face, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. He's building that character. He's, um, he's telling the story. Again, he's pulling it all together. He's uh, showing you why, why this is the way he's looking. You know what I mean? It's not just the portrait. It's something behind the portrait. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's a story. Okay, so that's going to just about wrap it up for part one of The Undertaker. Um, thank you for watching. And again, we apologize for taking so long for us to get some new material up. But uh, we are back. Um, and hopefully it won't take long for part two to be up. And uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a good day.